Paul and Rachel Chandler have been held hostage for a week now. The identity of their captors and their precise location remains unclear. But this afternoon, we managed to speak to someone identifying himself only as Gedau. Speaking to us from a Somali mobile phone and through a translator, he claimed to be among the men holding the couple. Can you ask him whether he will guarantee their safety? All your loss. We can guarantee 100 percent. When will they be released? Gourmet CD is an unconscious. Whenever their relatives pay the money we need from them, we release them. How much do you want? We will tell the number of the money only the people it concerns. Though it's clearly not possible to independently verify his claims, they do appear to cooperate with other indirect contact made with the captors. We have been in one of our positions in the Muduk region of Somalia, and he said, I don't want to say the name of the same position. And why we hold them is that we can't identify who is looting our resources and who is not looting. So we capture everyone who is sailing in our waters without permission. In what sort of conditions are they being held at gunpoint? Are they being given food? Are they being given drink? He's saying they are okay, but as long as our forces are not needing any problem from the British naval forces, we will not do anything against them. We'll keep them safe. So why were they captured? Our naval forces met them in the deep ocean, but it was the Somali ocean. And they didn't have permission to sail in the Somali water, so that's why we captured them. But that attempt at justification that they were within Somali territorial waters appears to be far from correct. Territorial waters of any country stretch 200 nautical miles from the coast. The couple were captured 60 miles from Victoria in the Seychelles. That's many hundreds of miles from the Somali coast. It's thought they were first taken to a previously captured container ship before being transferred elsewhere, perhaps to the town of Haradhir. The pirates uh, have been very um, quick to state that the Chandlers are being looked after, that they're safe, they're in good health, uh, and that ties in very much with the uh, pattern of treatment uh, that has been seen uh, consistently from the pirates with commercial crews, um, and also in the same way as they've done previously, uh, that you know if they are threatened, um, then that will reflect badly on their captives. Um, you know that's the standard format. Uh, we'll look after them if uh, you leave us alone. We are not bandits and we are not pirates. We describe ourselves as a voluntary coastal guard and we protect our coast from the international violators who violate our fish and the resources of the sea. The fact that there is dialogue must be a good sign. It can only be assumed that there is some sort of diplomatic contact too, though this was denied by the man we spoke to. Mark Stone, Sky News.